Today is Trauma Awareness Day. Joining me live this morning, Elijah Virgin with St. Mary's Medical Center to talk about this national initiative, to talk about Stop the Bleed, and also just different ways in case we're ever, or don't want to be, in a situation like this where maybe we could step in and potentially save a life. So, Elijah, walk me through what you have right here uh, and, and how you can stop the bleed. So what, what I have here are a few different uh, pieces of equipment that are staged all over the community and carried by first responders, but also now it can be somewhere like a shopping mall next to an AED machine and a bleeding control kit. Just they like have this. these sometimes already stationed there, ready to go. All over the place. Got it. So my goal is to get around and teach people how to use this equipment so it does more than just look like decoration. Absolutely. So if you're in a situation and you have one of these handy, uh, this is what you could do. So go ahead. What is step one, Elijah? So step one, alert. We're going to call 911, mm -hmm. make sure we let them know what's going on, where we are, have our situational awareness. Okay. And uh, we move on to B, bleeding. Where is it coming from? What does it look like? Is it a lot of bleeding or a little bit? Mm -hmm. And C, control. Now, there's three ways to control major bleeding. Mm -hmm. For the, the, the most important thing is just get something, a shirt, a towel, whatever you have. So anything you could have, if maybe if you have to take off your own shirt, you do that. You make sure you get you apply pressure. That's right. You put okay. the, the pressure right over the wound. And just all your body weight. And all of it. Don't worry about hurting the person anymore. Just put as much weight on it as possible. That's right. The injury they have is worse than anything you're going to do, do to them. So we're going to do that compression. If that's not really working or if it's in a place like the armpits, the groin, the, the neck, we can use our wound packing. And these are oftentimes with this whole kit. That is correct. Got it. These will go right inside. So if we don't have our wound packing, we can use right. a towel once again. Okay and just pack it in the wound. It's really kind of gross. It's going to hurt, but it's going to save their life. you can feel safe doing that, and that could potentially save a life. That's and right. how much time does, does the victim have before paramedics need to get there? So what is that critical window? Less than five minutes. Less they, than five if minutes. If they have a severe injury, it's less than five minutes. So if you're able to do that for just five minutes, you could potentially save a life. Exactly. At least, at least for the experts to get there. Exactly. Oh, you got a tourniquet, too, and you're going to try this on me? That's right. I got you one as well. So what is the situation where, you got to tell me, I don't know. I'm going to show gonna you how start. <laughs> Just have at it. So on, an, on a limb, somewhere from the shoulder down or the, the groin down on your leg. Got it. If we have massive bleeding, we're going to throw this on. Bright red blood could be squirting out of your arm here. Right. right? I'm going to throw this on nice and high, wrap it on tight around the Velcro. I turn this windlass around. It's going to get real tight on your arm. You see that there? Once the bleeding stops, we're going to stop tightening it down. We're going to mark the time on here so the medics know how long it's been on for, and the trauma surgeons at St. Mary's will know just how long it's been on for. So, so this is essentially doing something very similar to this. This is just correct. This, this is just available in the kit sometimes. You could use this. Every time you have a bleeding control kit, it should have a tourniquet in it as well. So how long can this last? How long could this stay in place that a person could potentially survive? It's a, it's a great question. So studies have shown they can be on for about two hours before they can cause any kind of problems to your, your nerves. Really? Or, two hours? Two hours. So anywhere in Palm Beach County or in your metropolitan areas around here, you're going to be able to keep that on plenty of time to get to a trauma center where you can have definitive treatment. And essentially all you're doing is making sure the blood isn't coming out, that it's staying in your body and the organs, and they're all getting what they need, right? That's correct. That's we're cool. not losing any more blood. We're, we're keeping the blood in the body where it needs to be. And so where these are positioned all over the place, we, we, we have these all over. I mean, you're used to seeing the AED machines, but we have these as well. Right. They're positioned a lot of times next to an AED machine in a mall, in the airport. Okay. Um, and again, you know, people can, can have this resource for themselves. This is my personal stop the bleed kit that I have and I keep in my car. Accidents happen. Yeah, sure. It, and it doesn't need to be, um, you know, some kind of a, a scary thing. It, it could just be... A piece of glass falls down and cuts you, and you need it. All right, Elijah, real quick, uh, trying to get the awareness out. My last question for you, uh, what would you do if you want to learn more about this? You want to take a course one-on-one -on -one with someone like you? How would you do that? Exactly. So stopthebleed.org okay. has a list of courses that are offered in your area. St. Mary's Medical Center and Delray Medical Center, the two trauma centers in Palm Beach County, both offer these courses to the public. Um, you can, you can go on there and, and check for me. And we just put the three basic things you said. Apply pressure with the hands, apply the yep. dressing, and press. And then, of course, if you have the tourniquet, apply that as well. Elijah, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Life-saving information here. Hopefully we're never in this situation, but if we are, we know what to do. Stopthebleed.org, that's where you want to go for additional details. Aaron? I was watching intently. Like, that's really good information.